Hello, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Planescape Torment with myself, Waze, and the nameless one. Mort is outside somewhere. We're stuck in this weird tomb where there are a number of tablets where we have found out that we have lived many lives, and in some of those lives we have been good, some of them we have been bad, questioning whether we're stuck in some kind of karma system. And, uh, yeah, we're stuck in here, and, uh, Trying to figure a way out. We've checked most of these rooms. I think we need to... Get, we need to try and get this sarcophagus open. And I'm just trying to remember. It's been a while since I recorded episode 12. But we do have this key here. Key 1. Key 2. Key 3. Um, I'm not sure if there is anything right. else that we need to be picking up. Nothing there. So, how we're we meant to get out of here. We can't get out of here by walking because it keeps bringing us back in. What the hell happened? Yep, like that. So we have to, the only way to get out to the front is to, like this. is to die. Feels like I've been through a shredder. Done. Yeah, this whole going through a shredder, a shredder is not fun. So let's go and check out these tablets again just in case i know there was some of them we could push but i don't remember it wasn't like we could push all of them so i just want to go back and see is there anything we've missed examine the panel push the panel turn away from the inscription Let's just check this oh the sarcophagus lid moves with ease the locking mechanism has been undone okay so it looks like we have the keys Let's open this up you open the sarcophagus only to discover a single key Lying within, there is no body, nothing of any worth. Okay, we'll I take the key. Right now, so I had to drop it. Take the key. Oh, great. What have I dropped? Let's have a look at the old inventory. Um, okay. Let's have a look. What do we have? I have an antler axe. Okay, that's a slashing. Armor class zeros minus one speed ten. I think if I'm rightly, yeah, the daggers are speed two. So I think the, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think the lower number is the, the faster weapon. The battle axe speed seven, one to eight slashing. Uh let's drop these fist irons and this antler axe. Let's chuck these up in here. Any other weapons? My arm. I can put that in the weapons as well. Present hatchet. Yeah, I don't really. Mm. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to dump some things at some point. Okay, let's get all my keys together, so I know what I'm looking at. Key one, key two, key three, key four. Okay, let's pick up whatever. It... Okay. Scroll of the Blood Bridge. I want to hang on to any scrolls that I get. Right, now, there was a room down here, but it doesn't seem like there's any entrance to it. So I'm not sure how we would get in there. Let's see if there's a way down. Oh, look at that. Well, well. So it looks like we needed the fourth key in order to get into here. So what do we have? Not a lot other than this uh, sarcophagus with lots of goodies. Okay. What have we got? Bloody teardrop. Hard as, uh, as, as hard and smooth as a pearl. It pulses slightly as if being driven by an invisible heart. Okay, rather disturbing, but could be useful. Heart charm. Heal 27 hit points plus resistances. More powerful than the blood and clot charms. Heals a number of wounds instantly, even serious or critical injuries. Furthermore, the user will also gain a rush of energy, removing any fatigue they may otherwise be feeling. Rather useful. The knot charm. Invoke strength. Okay. Uh, corpse fly charm. We've seen that before. A magical battle axe. We don't know what it does yet. And it's another scroll. Okay, what do I have? We 
I want to take all of this. So let's have a look at... Oh, hello. It looks like we have a portal. And bearing in mind, it doesn't look like there are any other doors. It looks like that's our only way out. Okay. Inventory management first. I know this is dull, but what have we got? Um, okay. I can probably stack that with the other one. Blood charm. Blood charm. Tears of sorrow. What do they do again? Elysium's tears. The tears of sorrow that were shed by this person's relatives. All the rage and anguish of this person's senseless death in battle are contained in this smiling bottle. By throwing this bottle at an enemy, their wrath can be unleashed. Is that wise? Hang on to it for now. Okay, we have a lot more bandages. So I can put all those up there. The endless water I definitely want to hang on to. Punch daggers. Must dump those. Silver bracelet, silver earring. Dirty rat charm. Probably worth more than some of the others. Uh, shamanic rod I want to hang on to. We need the bronze sphere for Farad. Magical pipe, which I'm not sure. I didn't. No, I, don't, I have no way of identifying at the moment. Time of bone and ash. Needle, yeah. Sort of want to hang on to those. Okay. I'm going to hang on to my arm. I think that just seems wise. I wonder if I should try using that. <clears throat> plus one with plus two crushing damage. This is magical as well. So I want to hang on to that. Okay, Crescent, you're going to have to go, as is the battle axe. Um, I know I've got one other weapon I could probably put in there. Okay, let's see what we can take. Let's take that and that. This. Okay, I'm still full. This. Oh, I thought the portal was disappearing there for a second. Okay, let's uh, drop the battle axe up here. Just want to make sure. Sorry, I want to make sure my arm, I want to try that, see how that works as a weapon. This fly we can stack up here. Okay. It's hard to know what to drop. Swago's skull. This skull used to be attached to Swago's body before his unfortunate accident. Okay. Right, I have two spaces left. I think I have three things to pick up. Silver earring, silver bracelet. They're probably worth a bit of money, but I'd rather hang on to the other things first. What's this? Blood charm. Can I stack that? Is that... A, do I have a blood charm in this sarcophagus? No, it's a bloody teardrop. Sounded like I was... Cursing there. Okay. Yes, this is exciting, isn't it? But I don't want to leave this place because... I imagine it means we're leaving behind the charms, the teardrop, the scrolls. Yeah, I want to hang. Can I put this anywhere? No. Uh, the pipe, needle and thread. No, nothing else that I see I can stack or use. I've got my tattoo up here. Nothing to wear on my chest. Bracelet. Ah. Let's put that in there. I just need to remember to sell it so I'm not carrying it around. Okay, and the last item. Done. I swear that in some games you should get experience points for managing your inventory. But there we go. Where's this going to take us? Drown Nations. Ah, there's Mort. Done. Okay. How do I... Can I speak What's to... Up? Uh, dialogue. Let's talk to Mort. Hey, what's eating you, Chief? Um, so can you tell me a little bit about Sigil? As I was, I know this was probably five episodes ago, or six episodes ago, I was uh, told that it's pronounced Sigil and not Sigil. So I will try and do that correctly from now on. I think that was from Aracor. Thank you very much. Uh... Show more. Let's ask him some advice. Okay, what do you think we should do next? Well, here's how I see things. Okay, go on. 
I say we try and nick this bronze sphere as soon as possible and get it back to old stutter crutch. Yep, yeah, Mort, we already have the bronze sphere. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on. Now, where are we? Where are we going? What the hell is going right. on? Let's get back to... Let's have a quick look. We're in the area. Okay, we know what that is. We've been down here. So we need to go up here past the ghouls. I don't think there was anything down. A locked chest. Yeah, still can't get into these locked chests. I thought I'd give it a try just in case the keys we found were of any use. Okay. What we need to do now is go and find... I thought it was out this way. I thought this was our way out. I was over here. Yeah, it was over here. Yeah, let's go to the merchant. Where is... No, it's up there. That's the way out. Let's go to the merchant, sell some stuff. All right. He should just be up here somewhere, if I remember correctly. A bit further on. There he is. Let's go and talk to him. Okay, uh, any new wares to offer? Let's have a look. Now, this is the whole thing is, there's stuff that I'm not sure I want to sell yet. I'll sell the silver earring. Yep. Has faint engravings on its surface, you can't make out the design. It doesn't look magical, so let's sell that. I want to hang on to everything else. Which makes it difficult because that means I can't pick up anything else. I've got to start deciding what I want to do with what. Shamanic rod. Magic missile. Only usable by mages. I'm not a mage yet. What am I? Uh, level wise. I'm level six. Okay. Okay. Intelligence up to 16 now, which isn't too bad. Wisdom 18. I still, I think I still need to pump these two and maybe charisma as well. But we shall see. What was I about to do? I was about to take off this silver bracelet. Can he... Is there an option, option with the merchant to identify? Got buy or steal. That seems to be about it for now. I need to check what Mort has. Okay, where's the... Did I go past it? Silver bracelet. Let's sell that. Uh, let's check huh? Mort's inventory. Skull, rags. Okay. Well, hang on to all those. What I will do is I will just... I don't think I'm going to need these tomb keys again, but just in case, I'll get Mort to hang on to them. I'll also get him to hold on to the Tome of Bone and Ash and Swago's Skull. I would like to hang on to the rest of them. So let's put this over here. I've got four blood charms left, which is good. Charcoal charm, resistance to fire. I haven't come across anything that uses fire yet. Uh, it's easy enough to go into the inventory anyway. Okay, let's put all these over here. Right. So, the question now is... Done. How do we get out of here? How do we get back to Farad? Where was he? I can't remember where Farad was. He's not down there. I don't think he's down here. He was through one of these doors somewhere, wasn't he? Yeah. That's... Is that where we came through or did we come through? No, we came through there. Let's head down this way. See what's down here. It's the Weeping Stone. Okay, we know we've been down here. There's going to be Vargwees down here, isn't there? 
Again, if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, please do let me know. Through, yes, it's through that. That's where we came into this place, wasn't it? Where Bar was. So, let's see if we can sneak around here. If there are any Vargwees, I think maybe we'll run away from them. Here we go. Yep, back to the buried village. Can we right. open this gate? You are, you've got to be kidding me. How c He let us in, but won't let us out. That can't be right. That can't be right at all. Can we talk to him? The guard straightens up. <clears throat> you got... <clears throat> Excuse me. You got what Farad wanting, Burke? Yes, I do. Show it to me, Burke, and I'll raise the gate, but not until, right? Uh, okay, I'll show it to him. All right, come on back in. Done. Well, I started to get a bit of a panic there. Now, where was Farad? I can't remember where Farad was. So let's just go wandering. There were people trying to kill us around here, weren't they? Who is Uhia? Did we talk to him? This south-faced middle-aged man starts when you approach him and reaches for his belt. Finding no weapon there, he simply backs away from you. You can see that beneath his collector's robes, his lower legs and forearms are swathed in filth-encrusted bandages. What do you want? Just to answer some questions. Uh, you're covered in bandages. What happened to you? Uh, well, I got a bit of... I got bit up a bit by a ghoul down below while I was looking about for stuff to sell. Uh, I, I probably shouldn't ask, but down below? He nods his head. Down in the catacombs where all the dead is. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> so you going down there any time? Oh, now he asks. Uh, why? Because I lost my lucky knife, he grunts angrily, stomping his foot. He's been with me for years right here. He points to an empty sheath on his belt. Okay, what happened to it? I was poking about in the catacombs below and ran smack into a ghoul. Must have been a straggler because there's usually more than one. He bit at me face so I covered up with my arms and stabbed it in the eyes. It dropped and bit at me leg for a while before I shaked off the, the piker off and made it back up here. Okay. I'll bring back your knife if I see it down Updated there. Updated my journal. I don't remember finding a specific knife. Would you? I'd be grateful, so I would. It's got my name carved into the handle. That rings a bell. That name rings a bell. Is that because I spoke to him before, or did I see something down there? What does my journal say? Uh, find a return. Who here's lucky knife? Okay. Does Mort have it? No. I'm fairly certain I wouldn't have thrown away or I would have picked up. Maybe I just remember his name from before. Again, this is the problem leaving a gap between episodes. But such is life. It's not always possible to keep it going. Okay. What have we got here? Nothing. Nada. Come on, Mort. Buried village guard. I want to have a bit of an explore around here. Let's see what else we've got. Poor quality stiletto. Oh, sure, we'll take it for now. Might be worth worth selling. Okay. We have a door. Shack. Let's um let's have a quick look in here. Small dwelling. Who do we have? Quint. <laughs> that name's familiar as well. Not from this game. You see a short, fast, fat face. Ah, can't talk. You see a short, fat-faced man who is covered in filth and grime. He smells bad and his teeth are rotten. He wheezes as he looks you up and down and says, I'm Quint. You knew. Uh, who, who wants to know? Me, yeah? You knew? Yes. 
He looks at you suspiciously. You selling or trading, eh? Uh, trading. His eyes narrow even further. Dealing, eh? With me or everybody, Burke? Which, eh? Uh, just with everyone. His face turns bright red. Pike off, Burke. Get, get. This kip's mine. I got first claims. You got no claim. I'll have Farad gut you like a fish. I'm going to tell a little lie here. Farad said I could trade here. I'll murder him, he says. Quint, you my blood. You got run of the place. He goes off and gives a piece to a scabby sod like yourself, lame-legged bastard. Eh? Uh, so do you want to trade or not? He does. Perfect. Definitely don't want to buy anything. I don't. At least I don't think so. Charm of Infinite Recall. Okay. Okay. So let's have a look. This charm can be used to identify unknown items. It can only be used on the quick item menu on the world screen. After the charm is used, the user must enter their inventory and right click. I think I might buy one of those. Because we have lots of things to identify. Angle less eye. Plus one to armor class. Minus one with versus missile. Minus one versus crushing. Plus 10% detect traps. No, we'll forget that. Let's just do the Charm of Infinite Recall for now. Oh, he has three of them. We have the cash. Okay. And I also picked up a poor quality stiletto, which is worth one, but it's all money. Okay, that'll do for now. Let's see if he'll answer any questions. Uh, tell me about this place. This, eh? The village. The dabbers paved it over one day long ago. Forget about it. Collectors dig it out while looking for jink in the rag mountains. Me? I stumble across while dealing with collectors. He wiggles his eyebrows. Good place to make some jink, eh? Dead's good for business. Yeah, okay. Um, what else can I ask him? Tell me about some of the other people here. Like who? Uh, Farad. Old Stutter Crutch, eh? He set up this place. He lorded the lane. He set me up. We deal, eh? All right. Someone else? Uh, Marta? Eh? Marta, one to steer clear of. Barmy seamstress. She picks all teeth and corpse thread and bits out of the bodies. Gives it to me. I pedal the crap up above for other stuff. All right. Tell me about some of the others. Uh, okay. Other questions? So what are you doing? Waiting for Marta and Farrah to give me the goods. What goods? The leftovers from the grave digging in the catacombs. Okay, what leftovers? Teeth, corpse thread, bits they dig out of the bodies. Some coin they find in the bandages, eh? Folks pay more than you think, eh? Okay. I think, I think that's it with this guy. I think that's about it. Let's say goodbye. Come on, Mort. Let's get out. Right, where else have we got to look? I'm a bit wary about these thugs. I'm gone. We should be able to handle them. Which weapon am I using? I am using my arm. Okay, can we get in here? Let's give it a go. Small dwelling, another small dwelling. Okay, who's this person? Buried villager. You see a ragged man clad in patchwork clothes. He reeks of smoke and trash and has a yellowish cast to his skin. He looks askew at you. What do you want from me, Cutter? Just answers to some questions. Make it fast, Cutter. I got mouths to feed. But who are you exactly? Ain't important, Cutter. Slipped twixt the cracks too long ago, or maybe that was me da. One way or another just another one trying to make a living any way I can. Okay. Uh, what, what are you doing? Trying to make a living. What's it look like? Only I keep getting asked questions. It's stopping me from that. You done yet? Okay. For now. Fair enough. Sorry to intrude. It's not like we're getting a lot from, from him. Yeah. That... I would probably be classed as theft, I imagine, if I do that. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's leave. Again, not sure how the theft system works. And I haven't been a... Uh, Done. I haven't tried looking yet. There's still the question of whether or not what I found, all those slabs, was my journal, in inverted commas, or whether or not my journal is still some a normal sort of paper papyrus kind of thing out here in the world. Seamstress's house. Oh, this is Marta. I'm gone. Let's go talk to Marta again. You see Marta. She lumbers about the room, her joints popping as she bends over to pick up objects from the various tables. She's mumbling to herself in a strange sing-song voice. Got some questions for you, Marta. Marta glances up as you speak. I can't remember what voice I did for Marta before, so it's going to be whatever you get, right? <laughs> so, did the one say questions, Marta? Marta blinks and frowns. Hi, Marta, you said such. For he wears the asking look on him, he does. Okay, I know I asked you this before, but who are you exactly? Marta, did this one ask who I was? Ah, he did, he did. She starts humming. Nobody but mine. I'm Marta, Marta the seamstress. Mm, Marta the seamstress. Marta the seems stress. She turns away back to the corpse, singing her name to herself. Okay, what are you doing? Uh, she turns back to the corpse with a huff. I'm trying to get this book to give up his stitches and his teethies, and he isn't recuperating. No, no. She wags her finger as if lecturing a small child. Stubborn as stone, isn't he, Marta? She pouts. Yes, yes, he is. Okay, stitches and teethies. That's just that like humor here. Yeah? What are you talking about? Gotta pull the stitches out, the teethies, eh? Marta, perhaps you could give me a hand. I have been giving you a hand, old Batty. No need to take that tone with me, pulling out the stitches and teethies, yeah? And the thingies inside. Okay, that's interesting. The thingies inside. I think she means organs. I hope she means organs. Okay, Mort. Thingies. Mort turns to Marta. Yes, thingies. He then turns to you. It's all semantics. Okay, Marta. Why are you pulling out the corpse's teeth and stitches? Updated my journal. Put them, in, put them aside, Marta. That's what I does here. She scratches her head. Aye, Marta, we do. Stitchy thread and teethies are precious. Can be turned into jink jink. Strip the corpses we bring you, they tell Marta. Pull out teethies, stitchies, thingies inside the corpse, strip them cold, and then we'll sell them to the dusties. Okay. And... Okay, that's an interesting one. You look for things inside the corpse. Can you dig around in my body? I'm very tempted to ask that. I want to ask this first, though. Who tells you to do this, Marta? Fat face, give me pig quint. Another crutch, hobble, hobble, crutch, fair rod. Fair rod, isn't it? That right, Marta? She gives a queer smile and nods. Aye, it is Marta. Okay, what... What do they do with the things you dig out of the corpses? Sell. Sell for shinies. Okay. Um. Damn. I want to get back to the set of questions where... Why are you pulling out the teeth? Uh, who tells you to do this? Or what do you find in the bodies? Thingies, she answered that. Other questions. Damn, I've lost... Hang on, is it down here? Oh, there we go. So you pull stitches out of cups. Uh, I don't need a needle and thread. I've lost the question. I should have gone with the question when I saw it. I wanted to see if she could dig inside me. Okay, why are you pulling out the teeth and stitches? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, you look for things inside the corpse. Can you dig around in my body for anything? Uh, Marta squints at you. Hmm. Then nods. Marta can do that, can't you, Marta? Yes, you can. I am not going to watch this, says Mort. Where? Where? Marta is studying you as if looking for the best place to crack you open. Uh... <laughs> crack open my skull if you would. No, I'm not going to ask her to do that. I'm... 
I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm just going to run with it. Try... Try the stomach. You lie upon the table and Marta stands over you, a rusty knife at the ready. There's a stabbing pain as she slices into your abdomen. Lovely. Then cuts brutally downwards in a saw-like motion, exposing your innards. Despite the pain, you watch in morbid fascination as she lifts up your stomach. Okay, let's keep watching. Your vision slowly returns to see Marta standing over you, shaking her head. Nothing, nothing found, eh, Marta? She shakes her head. No, nothing. Marta, no luck. Should we try again? Okay, in for a penny, in for a pound. Uh, what about the rib cage? You lie upon the table. Marta stands over me with a chisel and mallet at the ready. There's a sharp crack as she splits your rib cage open, and you choke back your screams as she begins to fish in your lungs. As you try and gasp for air, you go numb, then black out from the pain, and fall into darkness. Your vision slowly returns to see Marta standing over you, and it's the same as before. No, she didn't find anything. Uh, check the intestines. See if anything's in there. She's just slicing me open for fun now, isn't she? But as I said, let's follow this through. Uh, a rusty knife this time. A stabbing pain as she slices into your abdomen, then cuts brutally downwards in a saw-like motion, exposing your innards. Okay, same again. Ah! There's a wrenching pain as Marta lifts up the ropey mass of your intestines, blood and other fluids streaming from it. Look at this, Marta. Look at this. I see. I see. Cut there. Cut there. Marta makes a small deft incision in the side of one of the intestines, and you hear a tung as something small and metallic strikes the floor. Okay. Updated my journal. Whoa, what did I get? Okay. I gained two items by the looks of it. Or it's just repeated itself. 500 experience. Martha then dumps the soupy mass back into your torso, then reaches down, picks up the object, a ring. It appears, and she flicks it to you. Pretty, pretty, eh, Martha? She nods. Yes, Martha, one shouldn't swallow such a thing. No, no. Okay, thanks. Anything else? Marta shakes her head. Nothing more, nothing more, eh, uh, Marta? Should we try someplace else, Marta? I'm a bit wary about the skull. Whatever about the rest of it. But I am a walking corpse. What's the worst that can happen, hey? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Am I pushing it too far? Am I pushing it too far? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Go for the skull, Marta. You lie upon the table. The last thing you see is Marta standing over you, chiseling mallet at the ready. There's a sharp crack and you scream as everything goes black. Updated my journal. Vision slowly returns and Marta hasn't found anything. Okay, that'll do for now. That will do for now. Is there anything else before I go? What are you doing? I've asked all that. I mean... I have needle and thread already. Well, let's buy some anyway. She seems confused. Bye, Jing Jing. Ain't you here to pick some up? That's what you're here for, ain't you? To pick up the thread, bones, rattling teethies. Um... I could lie. Why would I? Why would I want this stuff? No, I'm not here to pick them up, but I'll buy some from you. She stares at the coins in your hand as if not sure what to make of them. Shiny, shinies, shine. She frowns. What did they want again, Marta? She mumbles. Marta? Marta, what did they want? Uh, can I see what you have? Okay. What's this glass eye? Minus one to damage with all attacks. Now, why would I want that? Poor replacement for a real one. Whereas depth perception is impaired while this eye is worn. Okay. Maybe that will become clear later. Okay. A needle and thread. Stitching up wounds. Probably won't do any harm to have a couple of those on me. And I think... Oh, let's get some more bandages. Can't, can never have too many bandages. 
I'll do for now. We've still got plenty of cash. But again, currency-wise, I've got no idea what I might need this for. I don't want to be too reckless. How do I get out? How do I... Okay. Screen won't move. Where's the door? I thought I came in this way. I did. Right, Mort. Where to next? Let's right. keep exploring. What's... Auto enemy sighted. Great. Who's attacking? Oh, it's these thugs again. Let's, uh... Head over here. There's one thing I want to do is... Oh, hang on. Nope, they're not attacking. I can't remember where Farad was. Part of me wants to just keep exploring anyway. I think I've done down here. Right, let's just get into this house. I'm going to... Does Mort have any what? bandages? Is the question. No, he doesn't. What's this? Embalming charm lesser. Use what only... Okay, directions. Bracelet. Works by being held by a living creature. Then while pronouncing the mantra to the true death... It is touched to the forehead of a zombie or skeleton. When it's done, the minor enchantment held within the item spreads through the corpse. Okay, what does it do? Uh, is it in your, your quick slot item? Use it. When cast target gains plus two to eight temporary hit points and a temporary bonus of plus one AC for half an hour. Okay. I've been forgetting to use that. Although, or have I? Hmm. Don't know. Anyway, what did I come in here for? I came in here to give Mort some bandages to use. Just to heal him up a little bit. Was the point of it. Okay, that'll do. That's a bit better. That every time that noise gets me. I'm gone. Right, come on. Yep. Well we just take these out. I'm going to use my new arm and see. See how I get on with that. What's the worst case scenario here? I probably end up back on Martyr's slab. But I, yeah, I don't want to be reckless about the dying because I don't know what the long term effects are. Okay, come on, Mort. Let's uh, take him out. Let's try and beat him to death with my arm. Okay. Get this guy. The other one's running away. Oh, he's running away too. Okay. Let them run. We'll get them when we... Get them when we come out. Oh, hello. Silver earring. Tarnished silver bracelet. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Let's check in here. He's badly injured. Let's go in here anyway. We can... Who have we got here? Just the buried villager. Haggard woman, her care-lined face showing every scar the years have left upon her. Her eyes are knowing and tired, and she sniffles as she speaks. What is it you're wanting from me? Uh, just some questions. Go on, what did you want to know? Who are you, exactly? Who am I? She laughs bitterly. Might as well ask for a grain of sand's... Uh, might as well ask for a grain of sand's name, Cutter, because that's about as important as I am. Well, that's a very uplifting viewpoint. Um, okay. Uh, well, if you won't tell me who you are, what are you doing? What am I doing? Why, just trying to eke out a hard scrabble life under Ragpicker's Square and steering clear of those who put me in here in the first place. That's what I'm doing. Fair enough. I think we'll be off. Um, not a lot going on in here. Chests. Considered stealing. No, I'm, I'm playing gone. I'm playing a good character, so I'm not gonna just randomly loot and kill people for the sake of it. Uh, whether or not my alignment changed along the way through damage done to me from bad experiences, who knows? Right, where'd this guy go? 
Okay, who's in here? Let's walk down this way. These are just standard villagers. Another small dwelling with no one in it. Now we don't mind going through an empty place. Looks abandoned, so we'll take it. And where else have we got? All right. These crates. A bone charm. Yep. These are all in the public. What's this? This looks like an old gatehouse wall. Right, Mort. Let's finish these thugs off so we don't have to worry about them. Aha! The gate's locked. You can't get away. Okay. Anything to loot? All right. Bronze ring. Let's go after the other one. That'll teach you to pick a fight with us. He's fast. But uh, can we can we trap him? Come on, guys. Pen him in. More. Okay. There we go. Come on, go down. Has he gone down? Done. Where's my loot gone? He's disappeared behind the thing. That's not fair. Right, okay. I, I've got a full inventory again. Did we go in here? Okay, let's have it. We've been in there. There's Farad in here. Let's check this place out. I can't remember if we went in here or not. Ojo's house. No, this is new. Okay, what do we have here? These rags look like they've been chewed on. So do, so do those ones. Okay, let's go right. talk to Ojo. Or Ojo. This small candle is giving off an anemic, off anemic light. You see a burly man with a slack jaw. The spark of intelligence is in his eyes. Little more than a brief flare. Okay, so... Sorry to intrude, but who are you? He blinks at you. I pointed him. Who are you? Ojo. Okay, Ojo, got some questions for you. Ojo just stares. Um, What are you doing? Ojo, talk. He stops abru abruptly and begins massaging his hand. Okay, who are you talking to? Ojo looks toward one of the walls and then turns back to you, eyes narrowed and the corner of his mouth twitching. Who you? You leave. I just wanted to ask some more questions, Ojo. No, you leave. He's becoming agitated. Just, you sure? This, this guy could be a bit tough. I've got just a horrible niggling feeling. A few more questions. He stumbles over to the corner and sinks into it, turning himself away from you. No amount of cajoling will convince him to look at you or respond to you. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe we shouldn't have been so belligerent. Let's get out of here. Farad's who we want to find. Hello, who are you? Just another buried villager. Let's get over here now. To this side. I think we've done all this. Okay, another door over here. Let's explore. Okay, just a buried villager. A uh, ragged man clad in patchwork clothes. He reeks of smoke and trash and has a yellowish cast to his skin. What do you want from me, Cutter? Just some questions. Who are you? Ain't important, Cutter. Slip. No, we've spoken to this guy already. Or someone who has all the same answers. So we'll leave him alone. And another door up here. And then we'd have done most of the buried village, I think. Oh, lovely. We got cranium rats. So we need to kill them quickly because they're more dangerous, if I remember rightly. As a as a group. You see 
that? Done. Yes, I saw it. Well done, Mort. Well done. More cranium. My inventory's full. Great. Okay. We need to find another merchant again. Silver bracelet. Oh, I can. I can wear that on there. Silver earring. Anywhere I can wear that. Oh, I can. Look at that. Rings. Okay, this is handy. Twisted ring. Okay, let's just check that before I put it on. This ring looks like three rings that have just been wrapped around each other. Just looking at it makes you dizzy. Plus one to armor class. Ah! Definitely take that. Never even checked that before. That's handy. Oh, I've got these things as well, don't I? Okay, what do I want to check? I need to put these into... Into here. Then use it, and I've got one... Uh, two, three, four things to check. Battle axe is slashing. Two to nine, plus one. Okay. Closer examination of the weapon reveals a strange symbol very faint on the surface of the axe head. Tracing it with your finger, there is a sudden charge, and the axe head changes before your eyes into a silvery looking metal. The edge is incredibly sharp, so much so it looks like it could hack through stone if necessary. The symbol you traced on the weapon is now glowing brilliantly, and if anything, the axe has become even lighter than before, so much that you can almost wield it one-handed. How wonderful! We will be using that as our main weapon. So, sledgehammer, bloody teardrop, and pipe. Three for three. Okay, this is good. Let's do that, then we'll sort our inventory out. Um, where is it? I have to select it from here, do I? Select item. Okay, now into the inventory and... Okay, plus one. Uh, this hammer bears a wounding enchantment and is much lighter than a normal hammer, allowing it to be swung faster and do more damage in combat. Any history or legends concerning this hammer have been eclipsed by other more famous weapons in the Encyclopedia Magica. Nonetheless, this sledgehammer carries itself with a quiet dignity. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to it just in case I meet someone else who can use it. And... Okay, so I've got two enchanted there. I need to be careful now I don't go throwing things away that are enchanted. Bloody teardrop. Okay, permanent plus one constitution. Usable only by lawful good characters. Okay. This glistening red tear was shed by the martyred Harmonium officer, Salieru Day, when he was put to death on the Harmonium's home plane of Ortho. Mistaken as a member of the hated Revolutionary League, Salieru Day's obedience and loyalty was such that he could not bring himself to challenge the allegations of his superiors. At the moment of his execution... Three tears fell from his right eye and turned to stone as they fell upon the flagstones of the square. Ironically enough, an anarchist subsequently revealed the Harmonium's mistake to the public, discrediting them. Ever since, the tears of Salieru Day have been considered relics of the Harmonium and used as a lesson to the evils of unquestioning obedience by the Revolutionary, Revolutionary League. Okay. So, where... Do I put it? Where do I wear it? And what's this eye doing? Eyeball. This is your eye. Looks like it's seen better days. Okay, at least it's not minus one. Okay. Usable only by lawful good. Where is my... Okay, where... Where is my... Am I looking straight at it and not seeing it? Oh, there we go. Okay, this represents your disposition. I'm currently true neutral. So I probably can't use that at the moment. And yeah, I'm not sure if I want to be lawful good, to be honest. Uh, that's a bit restrictive. Okay, so I can't use that at the moment. That's fair enough. That's... Uh, so I'm going to give that to Mort to hang on to. Does Mort have anything I want to sell? He can hang on to the cranium tails. No. 
Uh, these punch daggers. Hang on to them for now. Okay, let's leave all that. Let's leave all that for now and get the hell out of here. He says, forgetting all the rat's tails that are on the floor. That's the word, Chief. Let's get more okay. pick all these up. Okay, done. So, right. I think up here is where we want to go. Now, I am a bit concerned about what I read about find the journal and then Farad. So I'm wondering if we should go searching for the journal before before we go back to Farad just in case we mess anything up. The instructions did seem quite clear quite insistent that journal first and Farad later. So, hmm. More exploring, I think. I would like to get back up above, out of this buried village, but I don't know how to do that yet. Maybe this place... Can't remember if this was Farad's place or whether this is a new place. Hopefully we can find our way back up above. We know how to get down here again. Well, we died. Or was it when we put the junk in the portal? I can't remember which way. Uh, but yeah, we will look at that in the next episode. For now, we are a little bit stronger. We've got some better weapons. Uh, some more cash. And we have the bronze sphere. Whether or not there's anything else we can do in the, the catacombs. We do have to... Okay, that's for Farad. We haven't found Amaris for Nod. Uh, embalming fluid and needle for Ivine. And find out where Farrah's corpses are coming from, from for the Man and Rag Picker Square. There was something else, wasn't there? It's in the journal. Where is it? Uh, there was something about someone we need to take. This is it. Glyph told me to seek out a woman named Namel in the Clark's Ward, so I might find the word that will unleash the full power of the decanter of endless water. I want to go and do this as well. So, I haven't seen anywhere else that takes us back above, so maybe we have to go through this area down here. So we'll do that next time. Thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you're well, and until next time, take care.